Sweat it to the truth, nothing but the truth. Put my hands on the Bible, y'all put me to the booth. Sweat it to the truth. Yo, new season, new colors, new merch, new swag. Go over to Imago Day Apparel Shop and get in your bag with our latest gear. I promise you won't be disappointed. Rep the kingdom, I rock in his image. Every order and purchase goes into helping me bring you better content. And so every order and purchase is greatly appreciated. We thank you for the support and as always, peace and love. Yo, what's going on with it, man? So I got a good one, crazy one for you today, bro. So they got the witch in the church which really ain't nothing new bro as many false prophets pastors teachers um whoever else in these churches today it's no surprise that they will have kamala in there either in the pulpit preaching the word of god about faith you know what i'm saying um but let's check it out real quick us agree that our faith requires action it requires that we fight for what we know to be true and for what we know to be right. It is our faith that often guides us forward. Faith in the promise of our nation, freedom, liberty, and equality. Not for some, but for all. I just got to keep it a buck to say, bro, it's a lie to put it off as if all people don't have equal rights here in this country bro it's just it's so offsetting if that's the right word i'm looking for um it's a lie it's a lie to tell people that we don't have equal rights here in this country it's so demoralizing because people after the emancipation proclamation was passed there were people during those times who became millionaires and we're talking about people who were once slaves who became business owners entrepreneurs um start doing major things in the economy and for their people to think about the obstacles that was in their way at the time you know whether it been a lack of education not being able to read not being able to write uh, not knowing the ins and outs of businesses and how it uh, worked and how it didn't work, what to do and what not to do. Yet, there were many of people who came from being slaves to making a difference in their communities. And to tell people today that they don't have equality of opportunity, not of outcomes, because that's what she really means for all people to end up in the same place, which is communism. But to tell people that they don't have equality of opportunity is crazy work, bro. But the real question that I have to ask is what is this faith that she is talking about? What is this faith? That she was referring to. Because the last time that I checked. Faith. That's in the Bible. Is faith. That leads to obedience. To the word of God. Not to government. Not to man. Not to, not to any other entity or party. But to God. And his word. Kamala and her ad man. Represents every bit of defiance. And opposition. To the word of God. Every bit. And pastors got the audacity, bro, to have this woman in the pulpit. It's crazy to me, bro. You cannot claim to be a believer in Christ and be a Democrat at the same time. I've tried it. Not tried it in the sense of I voted Democrat, but what I'm saying is I tried seeing it both sides in my faith. I literally did. I tried to find justification in it. I tried to reason with it. I tried to um, go against my convictions and how I felt. But the truth of the fact of the matter is, is knowing what I'm actually voting for if I was to vote Democrat isn't. It's not a personal, it's not a personal conviction. 
it's an objective. It's an objective conviction because all that are true believers feel it too. But the spirit of God telling me that this isn't right to vote for. I don't care how genuine you are. I don't care how sincere you are, bro. It's just not possible. No one in their right mind who is a true believer in Christ can agree to anything that she is for. If you are a true believer in Christ, your, 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 your spirit, your heart, your soul just can't do it. In the words of Pastor Alton Williams, just can't do it. Because I think what people fail to realize is that it's not the person that you're voting for when you're casting the vote. At least that's how it should have been. That's how it was years ago when people actually had substance to them and actually thought about uh, America and its public affairs and not just the, the, the people or the person in general, but what's actually good for my family and me and this country. But you would vote for policy and the ones that were the closest to God's word. So you vote for the policies that were closest to God's word. Voting for Kamala because she's black, like what a lot of people are doing, is racist, believe it or not. Just imagine if somebody said that they were voting for Donald Trump because he was white. You would consider that to be racist. And I myself would as well. I think that we have to hold ourselves to that same standard. We have to say, well, if one is racist, then the other is racist. We can't be biased about it. We can't be hypocritical about it. We can't try to look at one is better than the other. We can't say that we can't be racist. But the church is having this woman in the pulpit is ridiculous, bro. It's misleading to the youth at most. Because if anybody has questions about anything, it's most definitely the youth. At a young age, especially in church, we're taught, you know, we're taught that fornication is not good. You know, sexual immorality. We're taught um, lying, stealing, cheating. Um, a lot of these things that we see going on out in the world today, um, we're taught that these things aren't good. Well, when we see everything that this administration represents... That sends mixed and confusing messages. What that's telling youth is that homosexuality is okay with God, that trans kids is right with God, that abortion is right with God. Now, don't get me wrong. I know that Trump has um, changed on some of these views a bit, but it's far better than what Kamala is for. You no know, government being able to, to override the authority and consent of parents when it comes to their child's sexuality, pornographic material in the schools that goes under the guise of sexual education, which we know is a complete and flat out total lie. And these people know what they're doing. They won't even tell the parents that these type of books are in the schools because they know once the parents find out that the parents are going to flip out. But all of these things that she represents and is sending a misleading message to the youth that God is OK with these things. This woman is a complete and total nutcase. She is totally antichrist and churches want to act as if she represents God. That is completely and totally out of pocket. Hear me when I say this, moving like this, and I actually believe that it's the God to honest truth, churches are going to be the ones to invite the Antichrist in and get everybody to accept the Antichrist. They are so deceived today, bro, so deceived today and have become such hot spots for deception that it's almost scary to go to one today but shout out shout out to the real pastors who are teaching and preaching the word of god bro 
and pointing people not to themselves nor to the government, but to Christ. It seems like we ain't seeing enough of that nowadays. But y'all, let me know what y'all think down in the comments, man. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Peace, love. I'm out. 100, 100, 100, that's all I know. Ain't taking a dime off. We working, we working, we working, and never show. Ain't taking no time off. We serving, we serving, we serving, deliver hope. Forget all that crime talk. 100, 100, 100, that's all I go. Yeah, that be what I'm